Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to Undertale Yellow. Now, before we begin this video, or before we get into the meat of this game, you might be wondering why I'm sitting at a file with uh, Undertale Yellow in it. Well, that's because this game uh, doesn't launch in full screen for some reason, and uh, there's like a little intro that plays before the game actually gets started. And if I were to full screen it, I would have to do the keys Alt and Enter in order to do that. But the thing is, pressing the enter button would skip the intro, so I can't do that. So I'm just going to uh, launch the EXE. And we'll sit here and read this. Four years monsters have been sealed away with a powerful spell. A spell that could only be broken with seven human souls. Their king was peaceful and wished to avoid any more fighting. But finally declared that any human who fell would die. I like this remix, by the way. Mount Ept. Few people have climbed this mountain. Those who have were never seen again. I'm decently sure if you fell down that, you would, like, obliterate your legs upon hitting the ground. It's just like, ah! Your fucking legs are gone, my guy. Undertale. Yellow. Ooh. Press zero and Okay. Alright. So, zero wire, enter to confirm. X or shift to cancel. See your control in-game menu, F4 to full screen. Oh, I could have pressed the fucking F4 button. Well, God damn it! All right, fuck it. We're we're still doing that. I'm not I'm not gonna stop the recording, and go back and watch that fucking intro again. No, no, we're putting up with it. Um. Anyway, <laughs> um. To get a couple things out of the way before we actually jump into this game, I know Undertale isn't the game with the best reputation in the world. I know this game is considered a uh, cringe and not based, but <laughs> um. I, uh, I still like it, I think it's good, and this is a cool little fan game, so I thought, hey, why not play it, and is it just me, or is this game, like, uh, slightly loud, and there's, I think that's good, because I feel like the music was a bit loud there, but, uh, I, I understand that Undertale does not have the best reputation under it, but I feel like Undertale is kind of a game that's died down a lot, and that there's not nearly as much a buzz around this game as there used to be. Because back in 2015, this game was literally everywhere. You could not go on a website. You couldn't go, like, even a day in real life without seeing this fucking game. That's how massive it was. And I'm exaggerating a bit there, but I think you get the point. This game was fucking huge. This isn't even the original game. It's the Undertale Yellow. But, uh, hold up. Yeah, I, I am indeed recording. I was just making sure, because if I wasn't, I was going to punch my monitor. But I, I, I'm just saying, like, if you don't like Undertale, you can go ahead and stop watching the video. Why'd you even click on it in the first place if you don't like Undertale stuff? Unless you came here just to complain in my comment section, and if you're just going to sit here and uh, shout at me why you think Undertale is bad, uh, I don't care. I mean, unless you're actually willing to have a meaningful discussion about it. But otherwise, I mean, I don't really see the point of clicking on a video just to comment, Dear Mr. The Pumpkin Eater, This game is bad big game. Is bad. Is for little kid and cringe. Please stop playing Undertale and play shoot game. Thank you. I don't want any of that, so... Just go ahead and go watch my Black Mesa videos or something, I don't know. Anyway, start the fucking game, no me talking. Delay in the inevitable. I realize my mouse is on the screen, so let's take that out of here, because I'm not going to need it. Hey, get out of here, mouse. Uh, anyway, 
I don't know, Dutch. It looks like I, I fell down a hole. And now I'm on a bed of flowers, and well, I just I just really don't understand what's going on at all. Playing as a catch cowboy here, you know. Uh huh. Yep. Ooh, hello. Frog it hop close. All right, this is gonna be a true pacifist run, so I'm not gonna kill it. Uh, we'll compliment it. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Ooh, hello. Who are you? Uh, this is a character I totally don't know who she is, and I'm going to pretend like I've never seen this woman in my life. The mysterious goat lady scared the frog away. Hello, are you alright? You must be wondering what is going on. Do not worry, little one. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. Nice, uh, nice scarf you got going on there. I come here every day to see if anyone is falling down. It does not happen often. You are the first one in a long time. Follow me. I will help you get through the ruins. All right, uh, random goat woman. You're totally not furry bait or anything. Man, as much as I like the music, I still think the game is just a little bit loud, so... I think that's that's pretty keno right there. Get the, my mouse off the screen. Nobody wants to look at that. Alright, for some reason this game appears to be limited to 30 FPS only, which is an interesting choice. As much as I would like 60, I'm good with 30. There are puzzles all over the ruins. They must be solved in order to proceed to the next room. Do not worry though, I will help you get through them. Uh, thanks, Go Lady. I appreciate your help. We are free to proceed now. Follow me, my child, there are more puzzles ahead. Look, I'm not your kid. You didn't birth me, and if you did, that'd be fucking weird. Only the fearless may proceed. The brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. In this room, you need to trigger some switches. Do not worry. The ones you need to press are labeled. Oh, that's um, awfully hand-holdy of you. Stay on the road. All right, fine. Good. Splendid! I am proud of you, my child. Again, I'm not your kid. Uh, um... It should have opened by now. I was sure I labeled the correct lever. Ah, uh, do not worry, my child. Try pressing the other one. Alright, lady, how many times I gotta tell you I ain't your damn child? You ain't my mother, alright? My child, holy shit, I fell to the fucking floor, alright. Man, the structural stability of this place sucks. Who hired who hired the contractor? I want them fired. My child, do not worry, I'm coming. Uh yeah, take that message out of context. I uh oh dear, I um I'll find another way down there, so don't you fret. Just be careful. Or stay put, okay? I I can't lose you. You act like we've known each other for like 30 years and I've known you all of like, how long has this video been fucking going? Like, what, two minutes? I, I'll be right there. Okay, fine. Guess I'll just sit here. Undertale. Yellow. For the second time. <laughs> oh, suddenly graphical upgrade. Alright. And some paper fell down that pit. Oh, all right. all right, Dutch, I fell down another hole. I don't really know what's going on, not not one bit. The sign is obscured by leaves. Okay, we'll go up, I guess. That seems frightening. Maybe I don't want to go up. We could go down, or we could go to the right. Oh, uh, well, nope, never mind. It's fucking broken. All right, then. I guess we're going up there. Into the frightening depths. Is that something I can pick up? Nope, it's just a rock. Alright. Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. Should I give him, like, a southern accent? Like, shut, motherfucker. <laughs> no, no. Uh, he wouldn't do well with a southern accent. It's like, hmm, you look confused. Okay, yeah, I think that's a better voice for, for Flowey, because I don't think he has... As a, yeah, I, don't, I don't really think he would sound like this, Dutch. Uh... Toriel out of a uh, taught you a few uh, taught you how things work around here already. I think that's how that's a better voice. That one is less like me going through puberty again. I think 
I think that's a that's a better voice for a good old good old flowey there. She didn't. I guess little old me will have to do then. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Get ready to move your fingers. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your LV represents your love. It's for some for some reason a part of me still thinks we're just a bit too loud. Heh. <laughs> I'm sure you won't have to worry about that. In the underground, monsters may try to attack you. If you see bullets like these, you need to avoid them at all costs. Try dodging my bullets now. Here they come. Alright. Oh, shit. Nailed it, bro. Nice job there, buddy. In case you get hit, I can save your progress. That means if something bad happens, I can make it unhappen for you. Oh man, time travel, that's great. You probably want to go home, don't you? Well, you've got a long journey ahead. If you ever need to save, come look for me. I'll leave these little things around for you. Oh, thanks, Flowey. What a nice guy. That way it's easy to find me. If you see one, don't hesitate to call me. And then I'll save for you, just like I saved for you now. There's one more thing. The king of all the monsters, Esgore. He's been killing humans. The only way out is killing him and... Well, you're pretty small. Hey, hey buddy, I don't know what you're saying, but I'm a rootin' tootin' cowboy and I can take any, any feller, especially some, some dimwit with a name like Asgore. Size doesn't matter too much, though. What matters if you is you've got me on your side. I'll let you get going, but please be careful. There's all sorts of dangerous traps down here. And some of the monsters in this place. I hear they don't like visitors. So good luck! Alright, man. What a nice dude. Howdy. Looks like you got it in, then. Uh, okay. Or, did he say it looks like you've got it, then? Alright, I hit the save button. Oh, I had to press Z again, okay. Well, Flowey seems like a nice fella who's probably totally not gonna try to kill me later. Was uh, if you played the original game, he's a bit of a bit of a cunt, not gonna lie. <laughs> bit of an asshole. What's this S here? Why is this S here? Is it secret? Is it S for secret? Or is it five? Should I remember that? Or should I not care? Whoa, monsters. A flyer is giving fighting a try. Uh, I think I will comfort it. You inform flyer that his life isn't half over. He has a whole half left to go. I... This isn't really me. Oh. Alright. Jesus. Fuck. God damn it. I am terrible at this. Holy fuck. Gother is ready to return to his regular life. Okay. He has a yellow name, so I will spare you. You win. Earn two gold and zero experience. Do I get healed from that? How do I open my inventory? Oh, okay, see. Two. Press the middle one. Press the first one. Press the last one. Middle one. Fuck. It's a sign. It says EXPOSITION in large friendly letters. Alright, I think I know the order though. Oh, that was easy. Alright, another lever. I would like to press that without going to another area. What are these? Oh, it's like a, it's like it's just one of these puzzles, and I already solved it. Oh, that was easy. Private property, no trespassing. Uh, well, I guess I'm breaking the law then. Well, well, I don't know. Dutch law don't stop for no man. And well, well, I ain't. I'm an outlaw. I don't. I don't follow the law. That's kind of why I'm called an outlaw. Hey, friend. Nice to see you again. It's been a long time. I was wondering if you'd ever come back. Who am I kidding? You're not here. No one is here. I sent them all away. They will never come back. Okay, mysterious being who's probably totally not another goat person. Huh. Hello. I must be seeing things. Yeah, I'm all a machination of your mind. Well, Dutch, it turns out I wasn't real to begin with. 
That's a shame. Kind of like being real. A penilla draws near. What the hell are you? Uh, I will compliment you. Maybe I should check it out. Attack 3, defense 2, a sketchy character. The artist's life is one of solitude. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck me. This is, this is too advanced for me. The battlefield is cover, covered in a racer shade. I'm gonna compliment you. You compliment Penilla's work. She looks a little uncomfortable. You're just saying that because you feel obligated. Alright, I'm out of here. Oh, shit. That's a new attack. Ah, oh, fuck you. You suck. I'm already, I'm already half dead. Alright, look. Oh, I can't spare her yet? Maybe I can distract her. You put yourself in between Penilla and her work. I suppose I could use a break. Alright, what are you gonna... I hate you. I hate you and everything that you do. Your art sucks, and everything about you is terrible. Alright, thank you. Goodbye. I, I hope to never see you again. Alright, luckily there's a save point. Hello, Flowey. Howdy. I see you're still in one piece. You saw that weirdo, right? If you want to get out of here, you'll have to go through him. He shouldn't be a problem, though. And if he is, that's why I'm here. Alright. Well, I hope you can kick ass for just being a little sunflower. Lemonade. I have not had lemonade in multiple years. According to the price list, the lemonade stand. 5G a glass. Take some, sure. You pour yourself a glass, but there is no attendant to take your money. What poor service. Leave a tip? Sure. You've decided to leave a tip. How much? Large amount. You leave 5G in the tip jar. Your conscience feels light as a feather. Alright, how, uh, how does that lemonade do? Info. Seems to have expired. Restore 7 HP. Okay. I guess it's been there for a while. I don't know, Dutch. I'm in a corn for you all of a sudden. Uh, sweet corn hops up excitedly. I don't want to fight you. Uh, maybe I should hug it. You give sweet corn a big hug. She briefly gets stuck to your shirt. I love hugs. Heart. Ooh. See, you love hugs, and I just hugged you, and you're still trying to kill me. All right, looks like I can go ahead and spare you. Earn four gold and zero experience. I need to remember to check the enemies, because I probably have fun flavor text. Because that's kind of what Undertale is all about, right? Flavor text? Penela seems to be dreading this battle. All right, I'm going to... Uh, uh, act on flyer, and I'm going to check you out. Four attack and four descents. Flyer feels nothing. Is art what the kids are into these days? Ah, shit. Alright, we have combination attacks now, so this is gonna suck. Alright, that wasn't as bad as it could have been. Alright. Uh, I will comfort you. Inform Flyer that his life isn't half over. I... this isn't really me. Look, I'm just trying to help you, man. Life ain't worth all this uh, moping about. Alright, for you, we'll go ahead and... No, we can we can distract you. Then we can spare them both. I suppose I could use break. Ah, almost got me with that one. Spare. Yeah, you win. Earn five gold and zero experience. Well, Dutch, I'm earning gold, and we can finally go to Tahiti like you've been wanting to, because we got gold, and that's extremely valuable. Are right, you can already feel the cavities? Oh Lord. Uh, well, I wanted to chest you out. Two, uh, attack and three defense. Constantly on a sugar rush. You're so sweet. Ow! My soul, literally, this time around. Jesus. Alright, I will, I will hug you. You give sweet corn a bill hug. She briefly gets stuck to your shirt. Oh, shit. Pro gamer skills. Man, my shirt is never going to be clean again after this. Oh, this one sucks. I hate this one. Ow. Please. Alright, at least I can spare both of you. Yeah, right, fucking twats. Click. Friend, I planted these for you. I hope it brightens your day. It always brightens mine. I don't know who's talking, but, uh, okay. Friend, do not fear the unknown. Sometimes they're nice. Alright, so, well, that's sometimes, though. Alright, that's partially caved in. 
Is it wrong that I want them to come back? Not like they were before, but like they actually cared, maybe? Is it wrong to want them to come, but not want to ask? Hey, I'm still real. Again? What is this? Why does it appear every time I start monologuing? Cause the plot demands it. I think I need more sleep. Well, dude, to keep finding this hood figure around here, I don't really know what it means. Uh, so far, this character that we're playing as, whoever, uh, their name is Clover, uh, you are now Arthur from uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Rorim encounters you. That is an interesting looking monster. Alright. We will uh, chest you out. Attack 4 and defense 1. Rorim's expression is blank. Who's the fairest of them all? Whoa. Oh, hello. Jesus. Uh, we will mm, smile. You give a slight smile. Rorum smiles back. Smiles are never out of style. Well, that's true. Ah, fuck. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. I still can't spare the bastards. I didn't do something right. Alright, maybe I can adjust. You adjust your hat. Well, dude, try. She's my hat's falling off. Whoa! Oh shit, the glass. It hurts. Please. Uh, I still can't spare the guy. Maybe I, uh, I need to critique. You critique your appearance. Rorum is very pleased. You look perfect. Alright, I think I can survive this as long as I don't get hit. Kosher, yeah! Alright, I earned five gold for all that damn trouble. Hey, Flowey. Howdy. Golly, this place sure is dead. And all the monsters are all quiet and lurking. That's not like monsters at all. Don't let this ruin your impression of the underground. We'll leave this dump behind soon enough. Hey, are you implying that I'm going to be killed? And that you'll be able to escape with my soul? Uh, what is this cat art? There appears to be a drawing of a cat scribbled on it. This, does it... Does this make it a caterpillar? I'm gonna punch whoever made this game for that one. That's minus two right there. That, that is forever minus two. Anything interesting about this crack in the wall? Nope. This ain't Doctor Who. The cracks in the walls mean nothing. This, uh, this path looks like it could collapse at any minute. It's getting darker yet darker yet darker. And I'm getting slower yet slower. Ooh, eyes in the darkness. There's a bat. Quad bat. Desi bat makes its appearance, it's his presence known. Well, that's fucking great. Let's chest him out. 10 attack and 10 defense, missing his quiet solitude. Don't move, don't make a sound. Hush, hush. All right, I don't need to move. All right, we're good. All right, maybe we should act. Uh, maybe we should talk to him. Desibat hushes you furiously. Move in silence. Hush, hush. All right, time to move it out. Desibat twitches his large ears. Maybe I should watch him. You watch Desibat in silence. He seems to appreciate it. Ah. Hush, puppy. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. This is some killer music, by the way. Desi Bat looks slightly more at ease. Alright, maybe we should continue watching him. Whispers only, please. Hush, hush. Oh, shit. Oh, we're mixing it up now, are we? Fucking hell. Gives me a nod of approval. So maybe we should just spare. Whispers only, please. Hush, hush. got a cat face about him. Alright, maybe we should just keep watching, though. Seems to appreciate it. Oh, he's even happier. More quiet, please. Yeah, he's even happier. 
You hear that? No good. Oh fuck. Ah oh, shit. Ah god damn it, that's fucking me up right good. Why are you still attacking me? Essie Bad is being lulled to sleep. We'll keep watching. Seems to appreciate it. Sweet silence. Desi Bad is ready to return to sleep. Get the hell out of here. Alright, that was an interesting character. I don't know why he has a mouth on his chest. Maybe he's a, he's a Half-Life zombie. I declare you an honorary sentinel of silence. I trust you to keep peace and order here. I shall go conquer new lands in the name of quiet. This is a very high honor, so keep it hush hush. Maybe I should have had him speak in whispers like this is a very high honor. So keep it hush hush, you know? But I don't, I don't think he could hear me if I did that. Uh, why did I go the opposite way? Oh, I, I should probably save because I got a bit fucked up in that fight. What are you doing back here? The exit's the other way, silly, because I needed to save you, fucking idiot. Well, Dutch, I fought a giant bat. I'm trying to use mercy because my entire character arc is becoming a better person. Well, Dutch, looks like I found another save point. Howdy. You sure seem to be doing well. You haven't even died once. Not that I thought you would, but it's nice to be prepared. Alright. Well, if I die, I'm not really coming back, so I, I don't really know why you say that if you thought I would. It's not how that works. Crispy Scroll is looking for someone to talk to. Let's chest you out. Four defense and not... No, I'm getting my shit reversed. Four attack and two defense. You must be the antagonist. Oh, I don't think so. Ow. Shit. Fuck. Alright, I'm already almost dead. Uh, maybe we should transform. You and Crispy, uh, Crispy Scroll perform a magical transformation technique. I'm not okay with this. You can't believe that just happened. Look, man. Maybe I should uh, judge him. You give Crispy Skull a judgmental look. He seems offended. Hey, I don't judge your head cannons. Oh god, he's a fan fiction writer. Look, man, I like fan fiction as much as the other guy. Makes an obscure reference, but... Could you stop trying to kill me? Maybe we should yell at him. You join Crispy Skull and his excited yelling. Wait, don't you speak fluent reference? Look at one more pop culture reference out of you. Oh shit, I'm dead. I wasn't able to finish that threat. Well, I'm dead. I didn't offer my help just to see you die. Let's get moving. Well, Dutch, it looks like I was brought back to life by a flower, which is uh, honestly quite impossible, but uh, honestly I've seen enough wacky shit in my time to not really be worried about it. Alright, lever. I ain't doing anything. Let's just press buttons until it works. I'm not gonna put any thought into this. Come on, go down. Wait, Jen. Do I even need to solve this puzzle? Because if I don't need to, I don't see why I'm here. Alright, we only have two left. Mm. Damn it, I got it down to one. Well, this is frankly quite annoying. Let's just press shit, see if it works. Hey, we did it. That lever still doesn't do nothing, though. Uh oh. Uh, Roarim. What the hell? Oh, I accidentally hit attack. Uh, I was like, what the shit just happened? Uh, luckily, I didn't actually hit him, so that won't... That won't do anything. You creak yourself. It's missing something. 
I thought he liked it when I critiqued myself. Maybe I should adjust myself. Roar him seems please. Looking good. Alright, well if he likes it when I adjust myself or so... Mm, maybe I should uh, smile. Maybe I should adjust it then critique. Maybe that's what I have to do. Ow, fuck off, man. You know, if you guys were so nice, why are you trying to kill me? A sturdy looking gate. Appears to be locked. From the other side. Well, I'm not doing anything about that. This wall is totally real. <laughs> yeah, I think I figured it out. Oh, in the darkness. It's, uh, I seem to recall what I once saw so often. Would you believe your eyes? What if I, what I remembered, it seems, is now forgotten. So then, never mind, I guess. Well, that's unfortunate. I have nothing more to add to that. A feather. It's a stray feather. Take it? Sure. Why not? I don't think anyone's using it. Two. Okay, so that's the second number-shaped crack I've seen. So we have five and two, remember that. That might be important. Oh, the bat's back. Okay, but there's some other places we could go around here, so... I'm not just keen on leaving just yet. Oh, never fucking mind then. Alright. Oh, we're out of here. <laughs> so five and two. Fifty-two. So... Maybe I should write that down. Um, I should probably just open notepad. Alright. 5 2, 52, write it down. Remember it for later. He is sound asleep. Maybe you shouldn't disturb him. Alright, that's probably a good idea. Given the last time I did that, he tried to kill me. Alright, I have no longer have any control over Clover, so. Um. Hey. Whatever you are, please leave. No. I don't know, Dutch seems like a like a strange hooded figure that's totally not a goat man named Azriel is telling me to leave. Property of Dolph, that monster in the cloak. Oh, Dolph, well, fuck me, I guess. No trespassing. I was wrong. His name ain't Azriel. Howdy. Not too far now. Just gotta deal with that downer. Then you're out of the ruins. See you on the other side, pal. All right. But please play Undertale. You're still following. I thought I made it pretty clear. I want to be alone. How did you even get in here? There's no entrances, so did you just appear? I fell down a hole. Is that how things work now? Unwanted house guests fall from the sky? I mean, even if that is how it works out here, that's not how it works in here. First, it was those stupid, concerned neighbors trying to get in. Then those Snowden kids just looking for entertainment. Now it's... Well, I don't even know what it is. Regardless, there's no exit, and you can't stay here. Dun dun dun. Only one thing to do. Okay, so he's not a goat, he's a vampire, motherfucker, alright. Well, I guess that they purposefully threw you off. Dolv musters his fighting spirit, alright. I will give this guy his Dracula accent. That they purposefully did that to throw you off, so it's like it's like, oh it's a fucking goat man. Nope, it's a vampire. Alright, move on. Uh we should act. We should uh we should, we should uh chest him out first. Dolv, attack twenty, defense twenty, he just wants to be left alone. I mean man, if you could just let me leave and just like let me go on my way, we wouldn't be in this situation. I don't suppose you can just get out of the way you came in, could you? 
That would be easier for both of us. Ow. Alright, handshake. Dolph doesn't notice your offer of goodwill. Where did you come from anyway? If you don't look like you're from Snowden, you probably wouldn't even last a day in that climate. Well, no Dutch, I always thought vampires were a myth. And I'm almost fucking dead. Holy shit. Dolph takes a break to brush off his coat. Alright, looks like acting won't work, so we need to spare. Uh, actually, what are you, if you don't mind me asking? Uh-oh. Skittios, oh, I'm fucking dead. I saw that coming before it even happened. This monster isn't even a fighter. You can take him. Let's try this again. Maybe I can just, like, punch him in the face once, and he's just like, <laughs> Why did you hit me? I just tried to kill you. That's no motivation to try to hit me. All right, you daft bastard. Can we just begin the fight instead of going through that dialogue again? You're still following me. Yes, I am, motherfucker. Don't care. Moving on. Could you please shut the fuck up and let me fight you? For the love of God. Move on. Alright, Mr. Vampire, I don't give a shit about what you think. Alright, let's chest it out. Alright, we're just gonna go straight for the spare room. I suppose you... I don't suppose you're gonna just get out in the way you came in, can't you? That would be easier for both of us. Ah, god damn, it went the wrong way. Dove seems to be in conflict with his more humane side. We have we have a lemonade. Actually, uh, what are you? I'm not anything. Shit. Ah, that's bad. That's real bad. Uh, I'll spare you more. You don't look like one of the monsters that leaves in the ruins. Besides, they they know the rules, Michael. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Oh shit, oh god. I need lemonade. So if you are from around here, you can't stay say you weren't born. Oh god. Oh lord. This is terrible. Ah shit, I'm dead again. Hey bro, you want a feather? Um really, what are you? You're kind of creeping me out. Like I am dead again. Oh, yep. There it goes. Fucking wrecked. Game over. Yep. Alright. Fine. I'm not gonna attack you because I'm a true pacifist. Because I'm trying to be a better person, damn it. And if you could shut the fuck up and move on with the fight, that'd be fucking great. Alright. That was a lot quicker. I forgot the X key existed last time. Alright, Dalton or whatever the fuck. Your name's Dow, right? Not Dalton. That's a character in Chrono Trigger. Uh, I don't suppose you can just get out in the way you came in, you fucking that I caught. Oh, fantastic start to this fight. I'm already almost dead again, great. Alright, how do I avoid this? I don't know how to avoid that. This good music though, makes it all worth it. Oh 
Alright, this one's gonna suck. Like, super dong. Oh, God. Ah, fucking god damn it. Alright, you can't hold this up for long. Try to wear him down until he stops. Listen, man, that's what I've been trying to do. You right fucking twat. Alright, listen. I've been trying to fucking wear him down since we started this goddamn fight. Yeah. Yeah, right. Cult, sir, if you could just move on with our fucking life. That'd be fucking great. Because I really don't want this video to go on for any longer than it needs to, yeah? So if you could really just move on with the fight and give me take 80 fucking 9, that'd be right good. Alright, yep, let's fight. I'm slowly learning this guy's patterns. He has his electric attack and he kind of got to move in a square. Alright, see, I didn't even get hit. I am the winner. Alright. Oh, I dodged it. Hell yeah. I am the winner, motherfucker. Ah, oh, it went down. I thought it was gonna go up. Oh, it went up this time. Fuck you. You're an asshole, Dolph. Yeah, right, twat. Uh, really, what are you? You're kind of creeping me out. Look, man. Listen. How? I've done nothing to you. This is totally unwarranted. Dolph assumes an intimidating facade. He's the least intimidating person I've ever met in entire life. Can you at least stop giving me that sad face? Don't you understand? No. All I understand is that you're being a total douche right now. It's nothing personal. I just have to protect my home. Look, man. I'm not trying to steal anything or anything. I just want to get out of here alive. You're not helping. Alright, listen, man. I'm almost dead. Could you please just fucking goddamn... What's even the point? What am I protecting it from? You look so helpless. I never should have attacked you. This wasn't right. I... I need to think about what I've done. Please, no more. Dolph looks unsure of what to do. This got out of hand. I'm not going to fight you anymore. I've become the monster I feared everyone I thought I was. Everyone thought I was, huh? Look, man. I just want to get out of here. I'm dying. Alright, this isn't getting me anywhere, so maybe I can talk to him. It appears Dolph is too focused to hear you. Hey, I can handshake him. Dolph accepts your offer of goodwill. If you want me to shake your fan, I, even after I attacked you, but that is a sign of friendship. I mean... Is it the same where you come from? I don't know. I... Are you asking to be my friend? Gee, I'm... Well, I'm a little rusty of friendships. Don't give me wrong. I'd love to be friends. I mean, I think... I don't really remember wh what that entails. I guess I'll give it a shot, if you will, and suddenly I'm British. Yes. Dolph looks unsure of what to do. Get out of here, you right? Hot. What do friends do, actually? Do you want to, uh, see my house or something? I have had to go there anyway, so I guess... So I guess stop by if you have time. Sure. I'll just repair my several bleeding wounds. I have to, um, fix something in the other room. Sit down, get comfortable, take your shoes off. You got like a foot fetish or something, man? That's kind of weird. Just saying. Actually, please leave them on. The floors are a bit dirty. I haven't swept since this morning. 
Uh, usually you only need to sweep once, but maybe you're a very filthy vampire. Well, right, I know you're probably eager to get going. But feel free to stay as long as you like. Alright. Let's test it out. Let's look at his house. If you like those, those are my projects. I sometimes try to write books, like for kids and stuff. The table is covered in colorful pencils and pages strewn with cute pictures. I sometimes kind of forget what colors things are outside this place, so I just make them up. I think the kids will find it more interesting like that anyway. It might not be as educational, though. Well, it's all in good fun, right? I don't exactly have a huge selection of food. I don't get out much. Oh, wait, I have some leftovers you can take with you. I hope you like it. Made it for my birthday. Sponge cake is my favorite. It's a sponge cake covered in frosting. Take it, sure. Sorry I didn't invite you. It was last week. You can come next year. Well, I didn't, like, exist in this place till like, fucking, what, 20 minutes ago, so... It's an intimidating looking wardrobe. Open it, sure. There's a balloon floating slowly inside. It has a cute little happy face drawn on it. Hey, um, would you mind giving Pops his space? He likes it that. You wave goodbye to Pops before closing the door again. This guy's fucking weird. And a trash can. It's a flower pot full of dirt. I thought it was a trash can. That's my turnip plant. You should be sprouting up any day now. He's really taking his time. But I don't rush him. Alright, I think that might be all there is to look at. Why are you ready to leave? Uh, no. Alright, take as long as you like. Oh. Why are you ready to leave? Uh, no. I want to go explore your house, man. Alright, we're around here now. I thought he was going to start talking to me or something. Why is the broom, like, in the floor? Be careful with that. That broom has been, like, my best friend. I never thought he'd be replaced by a real friend. Well, don't do my man Mr. Broom like that. Let's look at something else, okay? That's probably his room. What's with the painting of the corn? Someone made that for me a while back. It's a single corn from a cornfield out in the ruins. I started that field from one piece of corn. Before I closed off the door to Snowden, something happened. I keep finding corn sitting on my doorstep. Every morning it was there. I didn't know who was leaving it, but somehow I thought they were my friend. I always wanted to repay their kind deeds, but I never thought I'd think of any... I never could think of anything to leave in return. And one day they just stopped showing up. That's when I decided to hide away. But I've handed the last cob of corn I had down here. It's taken to the environment surprisingly well. I always found it rather inspiring. Okay, this guy's going to flood Dracula to uh, just kind of a uh, British voice. So he doesn't want me to go up here. Why are you ready to leave? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, maybe I should get back into the mood of a Dracula. It's like, ooh, Dracula, yes, I want to suck your blood. If that's what you want, I'll lead the way. I want to suck you. Well, here we are. Thank you. For everything. You have really helped me out. Because of this, I'm leaving this place. I'm tired of being alone. It'll take a few days to pack up. But I think I'm ready to give the underground another shot. I have so much creativity I've been storing up. I'm finally ready to let my talent show. I can publish my novel, have an organ concert, I might even make another friend. What a world it would be if I had two whole friends. I'll go around and, and place corn on every doorstep. Everyone needs a little corn in their life. I've eaten corn every day for a year and I'm doing moderately okay. Well. 
No, no, I mean, you're, you seem pretty, like, skinny, so I think that's got some health benefits. So much to learn, so much to see, so much for taking the back street. Oops, uh, there I go again with my rambling. Let's go and get you out of here. Oh, it seems the exit is blocked off. Let's see. There we go. We're all set. Again, thank you so much. I'll see you later, I guess. Friend. Alright, see ya, pal. Good chatting with you. Let's head the hell out of here. I don't know how long this demo is. I think it's about an hour long. Something like that. And... Is that gonna be the end? Or do we get to explore Snowden a little bit? Oh, that's the end. Alright. Everybody give a round of applause for all of the people that work on this. This was great, by the way. Um, this was this was fantastic. I love that. That really gave me a lot of original Undertale vibes. Um, Master Sword, I know this guy. He does he he does a lot of cool remixes and stuff. And he did some music for Vine Sauce Penny, and I ended up watching that live on stream, which is weird. But but yeah, I, I've seen that and that's that's absolutely great. Um, I know a couple people who have worked on this game, and I know a friend who's very closely connected to those people. So, you know, though, you know that that friend of mine is kind of how I discovered this. I mean, I always knew Undertale Yellow was a thing, but I they they got me convinced into playing it. You know, like fuck it, I'll record it, I'll put it on the channel. And the fans, thank you. Now, uh, thank you guys for making a pretty cool cool demo. This was pretty neat. It was, it was relatively short, all things were considered, but honestly, I, I enjoyed playing that for what it was. It did give me a lot of original Undertale vibes, and I feel like if th this fan game is really putting like a lot of heart and a lot of soul into trying to capture the original Undertale experience, but with like a whole cast of new characters, well, not like completely new characters, because we still have Flowey and Toriel, but like, you know, the new character that showed up and the new monsters that showed up, they're very creatively designed and very quirky characters, and that's a part of what made Undertale great was the characters. So the fact that this game already has a pretty cool character right off the bat, I have high hopes for the future of this project. Because like when this is all finally done and out, I have a feeling this game will kind of be the talk of the town for a while. I know it's kind of like riding that high of popularity that the original Undertale had, but I feel like it's also trying to be its own thing while still sticking to the formula. And I respect that, and I think that's cool. And um, I just absolutely cannot wait to see where this goes. Because this is just, like, honestly one of the coolest fan games I've played in a while. And I've played a lot of fan games in my time, and this is definitely one of the coolest ones. This was completely blind. I had not seen any prior gameplay, so this is all first impressions to me. So I'm just saying, that was pretty goddamn neat. It was kind of funny, and I like the new character. I'm excited to see where it goes next. Is there anything after the credits, or am I just stuck here? Alright, looks like this is the ending screen. So without further ado, I think I'm going to end this video off here. So thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.